to open an existing Illustrator document, you have a couple of options. The first is in the home screen and you could click on open in here or indeed you could go up to one of the application drop down menus, in this case file, and you could choose open from there. In my case, I'll click on the open command from the file menu. This will take me to the desktop and this is where my project folder is stored. If you remember from a previous video, I'm going to double left click in there and then all of our work in progress files, of course, are in the working folder. All of these files have the file extension of .ai, which is for Adobe Illustrator, and we're given a thumbnail of the artwork. And that's certainly the case on the Apple Mac. It may well be different on a PC. You may well just get a symbol of Adobe Illustrator in place of the actual artwork in that document. And for us, well, I'm going to click on Post to Trek 01 and then click on Open. Now, this is quite a common occurrence that you'll find with Illustrator. If you move a project folder or set of files from one machine to another, it may well forget where the link is to an external piece of artwork. In this case, the document that we're about to open up has a piece of artwork imported into it, which is a JPEG file. It tells me that this file is called Clouds and it can't find where that image is. So my suggestion would be if you know where that file is and you do have it in your possession, click on Replace. If you've got multiple files that need to be relinked, well then click on apply to all and then click on replace. Incidentally, if you choose cancel, then that would stop opening the file completely. If you choose ignore, it will open the Illustrator file, but it will not give the option to relink to the graphic. So as I say, the best choice is to click on replace. And I guess that's why it's colored blue because it attracts more attention and it's the best option. From here at the top of the dialog box, it will ask you, hey, you need to find a file called clouds.jpg. And it's usually at this point that you've forgotten which file it was. So that's really helpful. I'm going to go back up a level in my folders. And of course, earlier I mentioned that in the info folder is where all of our links are, all of our assets that we're going to bring into our Illustrator document. So inside of there, then I know that I need to click on clouds.jpg and now I'll click on replace. And with the imported artwork now relinked, the file opens up.